what is up youtube welcome back to the channel we have market monday the vid today we're gonna be going through a brand new program coming to madden 22 ultimate team as well as the content schedule for this week and kind of what i'm doing planning wise investment wise as we head into the weekend let's not waste your time hop right into it we got a tweet from madden 22 ultimate team rising stars ltds ultimate legends we already knew backyard ballers a brand new program most likely coming on friday we have no information other than the name we'll probably get some more kind of details on how the program is going to work probably early on this weekend a little tease of maybe it's current players legends we do not know but now going into my type of content schedule okay we're going to the march calendar what kind of is up ahead so of course backyard ballers most likely friday with the reveal coming on thursday morning fast forward a little bit ahead free agency does begin like the period begins on the 16th i'm thinking we get the free agency promo on the 18th also in the top right you're gonna notice mutt rewards and an odds boost on the odds boost really isn't available probably till later in march but we can get mutt rewards we got mutt rewards the first week of february so mutt rewards now is due at any pretty much they drop on friday usually in the afternoon so we can see it this friday we can see the 11th pretty much mutt rewards is big because it just crashes the market because everybody gets packed so keep your eye out for that we also do get monthly weekend rewards at this third Thursday as well of course weekend rewards this tuesday but that's kind of your schedule you can take a screenshot of it what i think next about two three weeks are going to go down content wise but what can we do to prepare for backyard ballers now i wish we got this information last friday so we could invest it this past weekend however we didn't so we're going to be investing into a little bit of an inflated market we have no clue what players we're going to be getting are they current players are they legends could we get like celebrity i mean we do have we have no clue how this program is going to work of course we have our ultimate legend investment so hopefully we get a couple of these kind of hit of course we don't have to wait for ultimate legends each saturday or each friday for the reveal maybe we get a couple ultimate legend investments hit for backyard ballers but current player wise we have no clue we do have a couple things that i do like to target when it comes to think of this basically as a gridiron guardians two part two pro i think that's how it's going to work so core elites that don't have upgrades there are a few like there is only a handful that do not have upgrades this late into the year david bakhtiari ramchek xavi and howard patrick ricard now, patrick ricard is going to be more of a free agency investment because he is due slated to be a free agent so we're not going to be targeting him him for this investment kind of window but we are going to be targeting a couple of correlates now i will say it's the middle of the week like we really it's going to be more backyard ballers it's going to be a problem we're going to enjoy we're not going to be too much invested into some correlates correlates that don't have upgrades it's always a good investment because they're just overdue to get cards david bakhtiari i think him and ryan ramchek both being 87 overall it kind of slates him to get a higher overall card in the backyard ballers program because we did we were investing in some correlates going the gridiron guardians to being uh brandon scherf and demario davis and they got upgrades they were just 91 overall so they've got 94 overalls they've been much more successful but ramchek and david bakhtiari should get like mid 90s cards if they were to get upgrades i like them both under 10,000 coins very close an 87 overall right now goes around 8,000 coins on the market so getting under 10k is basically discard that's a big thing when it comes to all of our investments we want to try to get these players and their overalls closest to the discard price as possible what do i mean by that well a 91 overall on the training market will go for about 27 28k so if you can pick up a 91 overall basically under 31,000 coins you're basically just buying at training discard they can't really go that much lower but in terms of another backyard baller core elite that i'm kind of investing in xavier howard he's been overdue for a card forever we thought he was gonna get gridiron guardians 2 card we've uh, there's been so many opportunities for him to get an upgrade he has not gotten it it would make sense that he gets a backyard baller although hopefully he gets one of the champions or the heroes and not one of the low or end elites in the program but those are really the only core elites i'm targeting of course you can go after guys like patrick mahomes right other players tyreek hill but you are actually like risking some coins because they are inflated they're not trading value and if we do get mud rewards this friday and if they don't get cards well the price will come crashing down i'm more of the risk averse investments where we're buying at training value here's another another list that you can take a screenshot of it's team of the year nominees without an upgrade because we've been seeing team of the year nominees that did of course win team of the year get upgrades every single week there are a couple players i'm going after more so the type of card i'm going after we have seen what redux is doing on the market when they get upgrades watt julio and byron jones went absolutely nuclear when they got when they got combine upgrades so someone like cam hayward although his price are not 85k i would try to pick him up under 60,000 coins it's closer to the 93 overall training value if he were to get an upgrade he wouldn't be the greatest card but it's just reduxes they're so rare they're basically ltds the other guy you can target byron murphy there were not any on the auction house i still have two of my binder as kind of a failed great iron guardians 2 investment low 30s for byron murphy of course he got a card this redux card would actually probably soar on the market another guy you can go after like nick chubb redux was a team leader nominee maybe low 30s for him too a 91 overall but 
moral of the story you guys are kind of understanding i'm not going crazy on backyard baller investments unless you already have like some current players in your binder of course you can go for some more deserving players like maybe lamar jackson i'd say backyard but that, that, that was the first thing that came to mind for me was like lamar jackson patrick mahomes one of the one of those two is probably going to get a backyard ballers card but of course their price has already inflated the redux was like 90k for lamar jackson and patrick mahomes core elite is like 30k already so you can take that risk right you can take that risk but i'm just i'm telling you right now i'm not gonna be going crazy i'm kind of trying to get every single card that i invest in at training value per overall training wise though you can pick up some 95s i think some 95s at 90k is solid if you actually take a look back at the two fridays how training reacted we go back to the 25th training went from about 3.5 per and it went up right it went back up to like four but it took a little bit for the combine promo you could have got training still early friday at very very cheap however for the gridiron guardians 2 reroll it went from 3.4 3.5 and it spiked at the four literally an hour probably after the promo get got released because people realized those rerolls were pretty good we most likely will get backyard backyard baller rerolls and training we'll see a little bit spike from friday morning to friday afternoon so if you pick up some training before wildcard wednesday 90k for 95 is kind of my target range it's like 3.4 3.5 training per or under i always like investing in some training but now hopping because that was kind of you know audible off schedule we got new, i mean i'm excited man new content is always just dope in the game backyard ballers we have no clue what the promo is going to be i'm excited for it. but hopping now back into our i see regular scheduled programming for market monday so last week our huge investment was buying 85s buying 83s and 84s 85s under 5k 83 84s under 2000 coins and while we got the best case scenario we got michael vick ultimate legend being a set card so our 85 investments our 83 and 84 investments pretty much perfect like perfect we were buying for pretty much 85s you get bought for under 4.5 for 4.5k per they were going for 8,000 coins on Saturday, and you were able to just build Michael Vick. I was building Michael Vick sets during the week for 375k, and well, I was selling Vick for 650k, making possibly like 250k per set. I did like eight times, so like two 2.5 mil made off Michael Vick alone. I know a lot of people benefited greatly from Michael Vick being a set guy, but we have to understand, we have to go into this week with tempered expectations. We are not going to be getting... Michael Vick is, I think, the best possible scenario for us for in terms of our 85 investment because he is probably the most popular player in Madden Ultimate Team history. There are not many players like Michael Vick. There's probably like Randy Moss, Bo Jackson. Like there's very few players that are going to get that type of value from a set. So we have to go into this week with kind of realistic ex expectations. We're most likely going to be getting new Ultimate Legends that aren't going to live up to Michael Vick's price. Now, how we were making coins off this was pretty simple. We were buying 85s in 83 84 is because you can technically with the fantasy pack exchanges in ultimate legends you can take 85s and 83s and basically exchange them up and get any player new or old ultimate legend any 87 overall ultimate legend version and any 91 ultimate legend version just by buying 85s and 83s and exchanging them up it ends up being a total of 42 85s 21 83s because you do need a total secondly the, the set pretty much very simple you need a total of 2187s and then you have to buy the 95 ultimate legend so how to get 2187s well you need 4285s and 2183s and then of course you were spending like 120k if you pre-bought the 91 ultimate legends or if you just bought michael vick 95 straight up you were pretty much spending and pre-loading an ultimate legend for 375k going into the weekend going into the reveal of michael vick and we can do the same thing this weekend what i'm planning on doing is of course we have to still be very cheap with our buy prices but 91 ultimate legends buying under 32k because michael vick 95 was going for like 150 and 160 pretty much the entire saturday if you had bought i had kind of just a security like insurance wise because 95 ultimate legends the first weekend were going for like 90k but michael vick clearly was not gonna be going for 95k so i bought some 91 ultimate legends last week for 30k and kind of pre-built the 95 ultimate legends you do that again this week try to buy them for under 32k that way you're spending no more than 135k for that 95 new ultimate legend of course we don't know what it's going to be the better the player the more profit we are going to make and then for the 85s and 83 84s yes we are still going to be investing in them but however it's going to be a little bit harder 85s under 5k and then 83 84s under 2.3k it's still very i mean we don't we don't really have to get a great legend for these cards to go up it's just kind of during the week no one's really doing ultimate legend sets people forget about 85s they forget about 83 84s and well you can scoop them up and again buy as many as you want of course temper your expectations we're not going to get michael vick probably best case scenario but now is probably maybe a randy moss or bo jackson ultimate legend however i doubt we're going to get that in back-to-back -back weeks so temper your expectations but still 85 is under 5k 84 83s under 2.3k is just a very there are so many uses for 85s again 
we technically didn't have to do the michael vick set to make profit we could have lazy sold our 85s that we bought for under 5k we could have sold them off individually for 8,000 coins we could have just done 87 overall sets sold the 87 overalls on the market because they went for 20,000 coins when we were building the sets for 12k of course 5k 5k plus 2k 12k we were building 87s for 12k they were going for 20k on saturday there's just so many uses for 85s and 83 84s that it's just such a safe investment and then last thing to note actually on friday when the combine promo did come out we got a reroll of 86 overalls in the reroll 86 overall combine players were going for like 4,000 coins on friday so if we get a backyard ballers reroll on friday that requires or is in the rule 85 overalls 86 overalls 83 overalls 84 overalls those are probably gonna be the best cards to buy on Friday morning because they'll be spam rerolls and they'll be flooded onto the market. And you can probably pick those guys up for easily under the prices that we are targeting for right now. So keep that in mind. Friday, most likely, if there's a backyard ballers reroll with an 85 or an 83 overall card or 86 overall card and below, target the backyard baller combat or backyard baller reroll cards on Friday as our 85 and 83 to 4 investments before the ultimate legend reveal in the afternoon. But that is all for this video. A lot of information, backyard ballers. Unfortunately, we can't really invest. We don't want to ever buy into an inflated market. And that's kind of what the market is right now during the week. Stayflation. Market's a little up. So we don't want to go crazy on backyard ballers investment. More so, I'd say target our 85s, target our 83, 84s. And let's just hope backyard ballers is a really cool program. And we get cool ultimate legends this week. And that is all for my video today. It's the only video going to be uploaded today. Stream schedule. Again, don't stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We stream Thursday through Sunday. Videos, of course, still every day. But that is all for this video. Comment if you have any questions. Like you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, peace.